Professor Venkatra Rao, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, IARE, Hyderabad. Now, I will discuss about the topic 01 knapsack problem using branch and bound technique. So, in this, the topics covered are introduction, branch and bound method, examples. The knapsack problem is a combinatorial optimization problem. In this, a set of objects will be given and the weight of each object and the value of the each object will also be given. And one knapsack is given and the capacity of knapsack also given. Then the problem is to determine number of objects to be placed in the knapsack so that the total value of the objects should be maximum and subject to the constraint the total weight of the all the objects that are placed in the knapsack should be less than or equal to the capacity of the knapsack or container. The knapsack problem is two types. One is the fractional knapsack and another one is 0, 01 knapsack problem. In the fractional knapsack problem, the objects are divisible. For example, we want to uh, fill the box or a basket with uh, some vegetables like potatoes, tomatoes, carrot, beetroot, etc. So, these can be divisible half kg, 1 kg, 1 and half kg, 2, ca 2 kg of uh, potatoes or 3 kg of carrot and 1 and half kg of beetroot. Like that, we can fill the knapsack or basket. So, this problem is corresponding to the fractional knapsack problem. The other one is 0, 1 knapsack problem. In the 0, 1 knapsack problem, the objects are not divisible. That means, uh, we have to either keep the entire object or we should not keep the object. So, for example, we want to place the uh, washing machines, refrigerators, ACs, etc. in a container. So, in that case, depending upon the capacity of the container, we can place the objects or we cannot place the objects. So, here the problem is to determine how, no, how many number of objects to be placed in the container so that the value of the all the objects uh, placed in the knapsack should be maximum. At the same time, the total weight of the objects placed in the knapsack should be less than or equal to the capacity of the knapsack, capacity of the knapsack. Suppose here, uh, then uh, this uh, <coughs> 0, 01 knapsack problem may be solved by using the dynamic programming or branch and bound technique. The fractional, uh, fractional knapsack problem will be solved by the uh, greedy method. Now, Mathematical formulation of the uh, mathematical formulation of the knapsack problem. Let like there are n objects and a bag or a container or knapsack. In that object i has weight w i is to be placed. Let v i is the value of the object i and w i is the weight of the object i and capacity of the bag is w. Then the problem can be expressed as maximize z is equal to sigma v i into x i. So, v means value of the item 1. x i means the uh, ratio of the profit to the weight corresponding to the item 1. So, sigma i is equal to 1 to n v i x i. Subject to the constraint sigma w i into x i. So, w i means weight of the uh, object i and x i is again the ratio of the profit and the weight i is equal to 1 to n sigma w i x i should be less than or equal to capital w where w is the capacity of the knapsack for a fractional knapsack problem 0 should be less than or equal to 1 uh, 0 should be less than or equal to x i uh, less than or equal to 1 for 0 1 knapsack problem x i may be uh, 0 or 1 
Now, branch and bound method. It is a systematic method for solving the optimization problems. It is an optimization technique for uh, minimization, used for minimization or maximization of the problems. The algorithm depends on the efficient estimation of lower and upper bounds of the branches of the state space tree. It takes more time compared to the other methods. It is used for solving traveling salesman problem, job sequencing problem, linear programming problem, nonlinear programming problem and many other problems. Now consider the uh, problem. Consider the following container loading problem. So, number of objects, 1, 2, 3, 4 objects are there. The profit is given. The profit corresponding to the first object is 10 rupees, second object is 10 rupees, third object is 12 rupees, and fourth object is 18 rupees. And uh, weight of the first uh, object is 2 kg, weight of the second object is 4 kg, weight of the third object is 6 kg and weight of the fourth object is 9 kg and uh, the capacity of the container is 15 kg. So the given problem is a maximization problem but uh, the snapshot problem is generally used for the minimization problem. So convert the given problem into maximization into minimization. So this can be converted by multiplying all the profits by negative side then the problem becomes minimization. So now after converting the problem into minimization minus 10 minus 10. So you can uh, convert that one into by melting minus 10 minus 10 minus 10 minus 18. So now the problem is converted into minimization. Then we can find out the solution by using the uh, least cost branch and bound technique by using the least cost branch and bound techniques. So, in this we have to draw the state space diagram. So, we have to draw the state space diagram. This is corresponding to the vertex 1. So, in the uh, starting uh, the upper bound, you know, suppose we want to draw the state space diagram, we must know the upper and the lower bounds of the branches of the state space tree. So, that means we have to find out the upper bound and lower bound. In the beginning, the upper bound uh, is equal to minus uh, infinity. So, the upper bound is minus infinity only. So, next we have to find out the uh, upper bound corresponding to node 1, 2, 3 or vertex 1, 2, 3 like that we can find out. So, the formula for finding out the upper bound is we want to keep the, uh, we want to find out upper bound is equal to sigma p i into x i i is equal to 1 to n. So, sigma p i into x i. So, in the starting problem, we have to find out what is the upper bound and the formula for the cost is equal to sigma p i into x i i is equal to 1 to n but here fractions are not allowed fractions are not allowed and here fractions are allowed fractions are allowed so while finding out the upper bound fractions are not allowed finding the lower bound or cost uh, fractions are allowed. So, by using this formula, we can find out the upper bound. Now, so, uh, while calculating the upper bound, first let us say weight 1 is included. The total weight W is equal to 2 is included. That means the first object is included. Next, 4. The second object is also included. Then, the third object is also included. Then the weight is 2 plus 4 plus 6 that means 12 kg. We cannot use the fractions. So W is equal to 12 kg. Then what are the profits corresponding to that? So the upper bound is equal to 
upper bound is equal to minus 10 corresponding to the first object, minus 10 corresponding to the second object, minus 12 corresponding to the third object. So, the total upper bound is equal to minus 32. While calculating the cost, again weight is equal to 2, that means first object is included, 4 and the second object is included and 6, the third object is included and the capacity of the container is 15 kg so that we can also use 3 more kgs. So that means the total weight is 15, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 3 is 15. Then the cost is equal to uh, profit corresponding to the first one object is minus 10, corresponding to the second one is minus 10 and corresponding to the third object is minus 12 minus 12 and so additional cost is 3 uh, three kgs uh, extra weight is 3 kg so 3 multiplied by the the weight is 18 uh, the profit corresponding to the fourth object is 18 and the weight is 9 kg so that this is equal to uh, minus 6 that means minus uh, 10 minus 20 minus 32 minus 6 that means minus uh, 38 so the cost is minus 38 and uh, upper bound is minus 32 so that is corresponding to the bond uh, node 1 now so you can write upper bound is equal to minus 32 and the cost is equal to minus 38. So, this is the uh, initial position. So, vertex 2 and vertex 3, this is 2, this is 3. So, here x1 is equal to 1. That means the first object is included. x1 is equal to 1 means the first object is included. When first object is included, what is the upper bound? So, now the upper bound is equal to, so the first object is included, that means minus 10. The second object is included, minus 10. The third object is included, minus 12. So, that is equal to minus 32. Minus 32. Then, the corresponding weights are 2, 4, 6. This is, so, first object weight is 2, second object weight is 4 and third object weight is 6. 2, 4 plus, 2 plus, 4 plus, 6 is 12 kg and the corresponding upper bound is minus 32 and this is equal to 12 kg. Then, cost, cost is equal to, so, when the first object is included, minus 10. Second object is included, minus 10. The third object is included, minus 10. So, this is corresponding to 2 plus 4 plus 6. That means, weight of the first object is 2, weight of the second object is 4, weight of the third object is 6. Then, we can also include 3 kgs. That means, the total capacity is 15 kg, so that uh, we can uh, add 3 more kgs. And the Profit corresponding to that is minus 3 multiplied by 18 by 9. So, that this is minus 38. So, the upper bound corresponding to the node 2 is minus 38. Hmm. Minus 32, upper bound is minus 32 and the cost is equal to minus 38. So, that means this indicates that the object 1 is included. Second case, object 1 is not included, x1 is equal to 0. When the object is not included, in that case, the uh, weight is equal to, corresponding to the upper bound, weight is equal to, so first one is not included. In that case, 4 plus, second object is included, third object is included and the total weight is 10. So, 5 more cases from the fourth object can be used. So, that this is 5, the total is 15. Then, upper bound is equal to, corresponding to the second object, the profit is 10, minus 10, 
corresponding to this second uh, third object the profit is minus 12 and plus 5 into the minus 18 by 9. So that is minus 2. This is equal to minus 10 minus 12. This is 2 minus 10 that is minus 32. So the upper bound is minus 32. Uh, this upper bound the upper bound while calculating the upper bound the fractions are not allowed so the upper bound is minus 22 minus 22 then corresponding to the cost corresponding to the cost corresponding to the cost you can consider the fractions also so in that case the weight of the first object is 4 uh, weight of the second uh, first object is not included the weight of the second object is 4, weight of the third object is 6 and 5 more kgs can be added because the capacity of the container is 15 kg. Then cost corresponding to this cost is equal to minus 10 corresponding to the second object, minus 12 corresponding to the third object and fraction of the weight 5 into 18 by 9 2 so that is equal to minus 32 so the cost is equal to minus 32 and this is minus 22 so we calculated the uh, upper bound and lower bound corresponding to when first object is included and first object is not included then coming to here so we have to explore both the nodes second and third so now, but uh, node 3, the upper bound is minus 22, lower cost is minus 32. Actually, this is uh, more than this. So we need not explore this one. So we need not consider this one. So next coming to the second one, that the second object is included. This is corresponding to the node 4. Second object is included. When the second object is included, what is the weight and what is the uh, what is the upper bound? What is the cost? So, what is the upper bound? What is the cost? So, corresponding to the node four, the weight weight corresponding to when the condition is first object is included and second object is included. When the first object is included, the weight is two kg. And second object is included, the weight is 4 kg. Then the third object can also be included, then the weight is 6 kg. Then three more kgs can be added because the total capacity is uh, three. Uh, this is corresponding to the upper bound. Up, when, when you calculate the upper bound, fractions are not allowed. So 2 plus 4 plus 6 is uh, 12 uh, kgs. Then the upper bound is equal to cost corresponding to the first object and the cost corresponding to the second object and cost corresponding to the third object that is minus 32. Okay, this is the upper bound. For calculating the lower bound, what is the weight? Weight is equal to 2 that means first object is included, then second object is included, then third object is included and the capacity of the container is 15. So, three more cases can be added. So, the total is 15. Then the cost is equal to minus 10, minus 10, minus 12 and minus 10, minus 10 and 12 minus 3 into 18 by 9 so that this is minus 38. So the cost here also not change. The upper bound is minus 32 and the cost is equal to minus uh, upper bound is minus 32 and the cost is minus 38. Then when the second object is not included. So the condition is first object is included and second object is not included. When second object is not included, then 
again we have to find out the upper bound and lower bounds okay when first object is included and second object is not included then the we are calculating the upper bound for that we have to consider the weights weight w is equal to 2 kg corresponding to the first object and 6 kg corresponding to the third object and fraction of the fourth object is not included so that means we should not consider that so then upper bound is equal to minus minus 10 and corresponding to the third object this is minus 12 that means minus 22 the upper bound is minus 22 so weight corresponding to the uh, cost so the first object can be included that means 2 second object is not included third object is included and uh, so the total capacity is 15 kg so 2 plus four, uh, 6 is equal to 8 so that means we can uh, we can add some more weight so how much 7 kg can be added that into the ratio um, 7 kg can be added so that 8 plus uh, 7 is 15 then the lower bound or cost is equal to the cost is equal to minus 10 corresponding to the first object minus 12 corresponding to the third object and 7 into 18 by 9 that is to 14 so 14 means minus 36 so minus 10 minus 12 minus 14 so minus 36 so that you can write the upper bound is minus 22 and the cost is minus 36 so again these values are higher than the values minus 32 and uh, minus 38 so that we cannot we can also neglect this we need not explore this one so we have to explore this one only so that means so next condition is 6 and 7 so 6 is corresponding to third object is included and third object is not included third object is included and third object is not included when the third object is included then what is the upper bound and what is the cost so when the third object is included first object is included second object is included third object is also included so that the while calculating the upper bound weights are first object is included that is 2 first object is included plus 2 second object is included 4 plus third object is included 6 and the corresponding upper bound is minus 10 minus 10 and minus 12 that means minus 32 so again for calculating the cost what are the weights considered the weights considered are 2 plus first object 4 second object 6 third object two, 3 more cases can be added because the total capacity is 15 kg so the corresponding cost is minus 10 minus 10 minus 12 minus 3 into 18 by 2 that is uh, 18 by 9 that is equal to minus 6 that means minus 38 so again the upper bound is minus 38 and the cost is equal to minus 38 then we have to find out the cost uh, upper bound and the cost corresponding to the node 7 then corresponding to the node 7 so what is the condition first object is included second object is included and third object is not included in that case what are the weights considered so weights are first object is included second object is included and third object is not included that means so here weight are 2 plus 4 is 6 
and fourth object weight is 9 so that we can consider fully so that the total is 15 and the upper bound is minus 10 and minus 10 corresponding to the second object minus 18 corresponding to the uh, third one so that <coughs> this is equal to 9 kg so minus it is uh, first object is included second object is included third object is not included and fourth object is included so that this is minus 38 then again for calculating the cost what are the um, weights considered weights considered are the first object is included second object is included and third object is not included and fourth object is included fully so that total weight is 15 then the cost corresponding to that is minus 10 minus 10 minus 18 so that means minus 38 so the upper bound is minus 38 and the cost is also a minus 38 minus 38 now so we can consider the cases uh, here we have to explore this and this so when you explore this x3 is 0 this upper bound is minus 38 and the cost is minus 38 so both are uh, same and at the same time these are le less than this uh, high, uh, higher than the uh, these values so that we have to consider this one so now we can see so here so we calculated first so for node 1 <coughs> for node 1 we calculated as upper bound is equal to minus 32 for node 1 we calculated upper bound is equal to minus 32 lower bound is um, upper bound is minus 32 and the cost is minus 38 corresponding to the node 1 then node 2 uh, the weights are 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 3 so the total weight is uh, 12 plus uh, 3 is 15 the cost corresponding to that is minus 10 minus 10 minus 12 um, minus 12 minus 3 into 18 by 9 that is minus 38 and the upper bound is only three weights are considered that is three objects are included 2 plus 4 plus 6 that is minus 10 minus 10 minus 12 so minus 32 so we calculated for the node 2 is this one so x1 is equal to 1 that means the first object is included when the first object is not included then we can find out the cost weights included are 4 plus 6 plus 5 so weight of the first object uh, weight of the second object weight of the third object and part of the uh, weight of the fourth object so 4 plus 6 plus 5 is 15 then the cost corresponding to this is minus 10 corresponding to the first object minus 12 and uh, minus 5 into 18 by 9 that is minus 32 and uh, for calculating the upper bound weight is equal to second object and the third object only 4 plus 6 that is 10 so upper bound is equal to the cost corresponding to the second object and third object that is minus 22 so <coughs> we calculated corresponding to the node 3 is minus 22 and uh, minus 32 so we have to explore uh, this one node 2 only because node 2 the values are higher than the initial node values so that we can neglect this <coughs> next we have to consider the uh, second job is included and second job is not included when the second job is included then we have to find out the upper bound and lower bound corresponding to the node 4 corresponding to the node 4 weights included are 2 first object second object and third object and three cases of the fourth object and the corresponding cost is minus 10 minus 10 minus 12 minus 3 into 18 by 9 that is minus 38 so when the second object is included then the cost corresponding to the this one we have to calculate weights included are 2 plus 4 plus 6 
the weights included are 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 3 that is minus 38. Then the upper bound. For while calculating the upper bound, the fractions are not included. So the weights considered are 2 plus 4 plus 6 and the corresponding costs are minus 10, minus 10, minus 12. That is minus 32. That is corresponding to the node 4. Then when the second object is not included, when the second object is not included, first object is included, second object is not included. Then weight W is equal to 2 plus 6 plus 7. That means 2 is corresponding to the first object, 3 is corresponding to the third object, 7 is corresponding to the third object. Then cost is equal to minus 10 minus 12 minus 7 into 18 by 9. So that is equal to minus 36. For calculating the upper bound, fractions are not allowed. So we have to consider only second, uh, first and third only, 2 plus 6, that is 8 kg. The upper bound is equal to corresponding to the first weight, uh, the profit is minus 10, uh, corresponding to the second one, minus 12. So that this is minus 22. So the same thing is represented here. Upper bound is minus 22, cost is equal to minus 36. We need uh, not explore this because the upper bound is uh, more and the cost is also more. We can uh, delete this one or we can remove this node. Then we have to explore the node 4. That is, again, the third object is included and third object is not included. So this is corresponding to the node 6 and node 7. So node 6. First object is included, second object is included, third object is included. So then first object weight is 2, second object weight is 4, third object weight is 6 and the total is 12. So we can add 3 more cases so that 15 kg and the cost is minus 10, minus 10, minus 12, minus 3 into 18 by 9 that is minus 38. So for calculating the upper bound, the weight W is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6 and the upper bound is equal to minus 10 corresponding to the first, minus 10 corresponding to the second object, minus 12 corresponding to the third object. So that upper bound is again minus 32. The same thing is represented here. Then coming to the next one, we have to explore uh, the node 4 when the third object is not uh, included. When the third object is not included, what are the weights can be considered? So weight of the first object is considered and weight of the second object is considered. Weight of the third object is not considered and weight of the fourth object can be considered because the total capacity is only uh, 15. So 2 plus 4 plus 9 is 15 so that we can calculate the cost. So the cost is equal to <clears throat> minus 10, minus 10, minus 18. So that is minus 38. Uh, the weight corresponding to the upper bound. First object is included, second object is included and fourth object is included. The profit corresponding to the first one is minus 10, sec uh, second one is minus 10, fourth one is minus 18. This is minus 38. So that you calculated the upper bound is minus 38 and the cost. So again we can calculate the cost that is well, <clears throat> we can calculate the cost that is minus 38. 2 plus 4 plus 9 both are same in that case you will get the this is uh, minus 38 and minus 38. Now we have to consider again the fourth object is included and fourth object is not included. When the fourth object is included then what is the cost and the upper bound that is corresponding to the uh, node uh, 9. Corresponding to the node 9, x1 is equal to 1, x2 is equal to 1, x3 is equal to 0, x4 is equal to 1. That means first object is included, second object is included, third is not included, fourth is included. So the weights corresponding to that is first object 2 kg, second object 4 kg and fourth object 9 kg. And the cost is equal to minus 10, minus 10, minus 18. That is minus 38. So that this is the cost. For calculating the upper bound, weights considered are again 2 plus 4 plus 6. So that means fractions are not allowed, but still we can consider the entire object of the fourth object so that the total cost is 6 plus 9 is 15. So the upper bound is minus 10, minus 10, minus 18, minus 38.
so that you are getting minus 38 and minus. So suppose uh, fourth object is not included. In the fourth object is not included, so we can also find out the cost and the upper bound. So that is corresponding to the no date. If the third object, fourth object is not included, the weight is only uh, first object and second object. The cost is also minus 20. Uh, weight corresponding to the upper bound is also 2 plus 4. Uh, 6 only, upper bound is minus 20. So that we can also neglect uh, this one. This is the final solution. What is the solution? First object is included, second object is included, third object is not included, fourth object is included and the profit is 38. So here you are getting upper bound is minus 38, lower bound is minus 38. So actually we uh, converted the uh, maximization problem into minimization. So at the end, minus 38 should be multiplied by negative sign in order to get the profit. So this is corresponding to the, uh, this is the solution for the given problem by using least cost um, branch and bound technique. Now consider the another problem. Consider the following container loading problem. So objects are again 1, 2, 3, 4 objects. The profits are 12 corresponding to the first object, uh, 25 corresponding to the second object and 40 corresponding to the third object, 42 corresponding to the fourth object. The weights are 2 kg for the first object, 5 kg for the second object, 4 kg for the third object, 7 kg for the fourth object. So number of objects n is equal to 4, capacity of the container is 10 kg. So the given problem is maximization. So in order to convert that one into minimization, multiply all the profits by negative sign. So then it becomes minus 12, minus 25, minus 40, minus 42. So weight is equal to 2, 5, 4 kg. Number of objects are 4. For solving the problem, use least cost branch and bound. So draw state space diagram. Upper bound and cost are required for state straight space diagram. So upper bound can be calculated by using the formula sigma i is equal to 1 to n pi xi where xi is equal to 1 or 0 for um, calculating the upper bound and uh, 0 less than or equal to xi less than or equal to 1 for calculating the cost. So first we have to find out the upper bound. So the upper bound is um, calculated like this. So weight included, the first object is included, then the second object is included, third object is not included. Suppose if you include the uh, third object, the, the total weight is uh, 11. So that means we should not consider that. The fractions are not allowed. So that we have to consider only the two objects. The profit corresponding to those two objects are first object is minus 12, second object is minus 25. So that the upper bound is equal to minus 37. For calculating the cost, a weights included are first object is included, second object is included and uh, three cases of the third object is included. That means the total capacity is 10 kg so that we can uh, take 10 cases. So the cost corresponding to that is minus 12, minus 25, minus 3 into 40 by 4 because minus 40 by 4 corresponding to the object 3 so that you are getting um, minus 67. So the cost is uh, minus 67, the upper bound is minus 37 for this problem. Now we have to draw the state space diagram. <coughs> now so the upper bound corresponding to this is minus 37 minus 67. So when first node is considered, node 1 is considered, we can calculate the weight is 2 plus 5 plus 3 and the cost is minus 12, minus 25, minus 3 into 40 by 4, that is minus 67. Weight considered in the case of calculating the upper bound is equal to 2 plus 5, that is minus 12, minus 25, minus 37. So the same thing is represented here. After that, we have to consider the first object is included and first object is not included. Suppose when the first object is included, we have to calculate the uh, upper bound and cost corresponding to the second node. For the second node, so the node 2, x1 is included. When x1 is included, the weights 
considered a first object and a second object and three cases of the third object. Then the cost is equal to minus 12 corresponding to the first object, minus 25 corresponding to the second object and three cases of the third object. Then the corresponding cost is minus 67. So, for calculating the upper bound, we need not consider the fractions. So, that the first object is included, second object is included, then upper bound is equal to minus 12 corresponding to the first object, minus 25 corresponding to the second object, um, second object and uh, total is minus 37. So, the same thing is represented here. So, this upper bound is minus 37, cost is minus 67. Here upper bound is minus 37, cost is minus 67. Then the first object is uh, not included. When the first object is not included, then again we have to find out the uh, cost and upper bound corresponding to the node 3. This is corresponding to the first object is included. When the first object is included, what are the weights considered? So, weight of the, uh, when the first object is not included, then we have to consider the weight of the second object weight of the third object and 1 kg of the fourth object. Then the cost is equal to weight of uh, cost of the second object, cost of the third object and uh, cost corresponding to 1 kg of the fourth object that is minus 25, minus 40 and uh, minus 6. 65 plus 6 is equal to 71, minus 71 corresponding to the, this one and uh, calculating the upper bound, the weights considered are only second and third, the corresponding weights are 5 plus 4. Then upper bound is equal to minus 25 corresponding to the second object, minus 40 corresponding to the third object and the total upper bound value is minus 65. So, this is corresponding to minus 65 and minus 71. Then, next we have to consider whether the second object is included, whether the second object is not included. When the second object is not included, then what is the cost that is corresponding to the node 5. Node 5. So, when the sec second object is not included, what is the condition? First object is not included, second object is not included. Well, that is x1 is equal to 0, x2 g is equal to 0. First one is not included, then the cost of uh, that is corresponding to the node 5. Node 5 that is corresponding to say object to weight is third object 4 kg and fourth object 4 kg can be considered so that the total capacity is 10. Then the cost is corresponding to the third object the profit is minus 40 and corresponding to the fourth object minus 6 into 42 by 7 that is minus 76. Then weight is equal to for calculating the upper bound, we have to consider only one that is the third and the corresponding upper bound is equal to minus 40. So that these values are upper bound and costs are minus 40 and minus 76. So that uh, the upper bound is minus 40 and cost is minus 76. So these values are more than minus 65 and minus 71 so that we can ignore this one also. Then we have to find out the cost corresponding to the node 4. That means the second object is included. <coughs> when the second object is included, first object is not included, second object is uh, included. Second object weight is 5 and third object weight is 4 and fourth object a part of it is considered. That is one case is considered. And the cost corresponding to that one is uh, minus 25 minus 40 minus 1 into 42 by 7 that is equal to minus 71. So, but the upper bound is equal to, so we consider only the sec um, second and third objects. The weight is 5 plus 4 is 9 and the corresponding costs are minus 40, 25 and uh, minus 40 so that minus 65. So, we calculated this one as a uh, minus 65 and minus 71. Then next we have to consider whether the third object is included and third object is not included. When the third object is included, when the third object is included, node 6, you see here, 
first object is not included this is the weight of the second object this is the weight of the fourth object and the part of the weight of the fourth object is this the cost is minus 25 corresponding to the second object minus 40 corresponding to the third object and this is corresponding to the fourth object so that we are getting minus 71 and then weight corresponding to the upper bound the second object is included and third object is included and the corresponding upper bound is minus 65 so that this is minus 65 minus 71 suppose if the third object is not included then we have to find out the node 7 node 7 so, first object is not included, second object is included, third object is not included. When the third object is not included, then we have to find out the cost. So, this is corresponding to the weight, corresponding to the second object and this is corresponding to the fourth object and the corresponding cost is minus 25 and minus 42 into 5 by 7 is minus 55. So, Weight consider for calculating the upper bound is only one that is the uh, second uh, object. The upper bound is minus 25. So that this is minus 25 minus 55. So that we can we need not explore this because these values are uh, higher than the uh, this value minus 65 minus 71. So that we can neglect this. We have to consider only this six and we have to uh, consider we have to explore again <clears throat> when the fourth object is included and fourth object is not included. When the fourth object is not included, we have to find out the cost and the upper bound. When the fourth object is not included, so uh, when fourth object is not included, what is the condition? x1 is equal to 0. First object is not included. Second object is included. Third object is included. Fourth object is not included. So, second object weight is 5 third object weight is 4 and the cost corresponding to the second object and third object is uh, second object and third object is minus 65. Weight also is the same 5 and 4 so that for calculating the upper bound same values we can consider as minus 25 and uh, minus uh, 40 so that this is minus 65. <coughs> so now you see x4 is equal to 1. We cannot consider x4 is equal to 1 because this is exceeding the total weight. x4 is equal to, when x4 is included, it is exceeding. The, that means we should not consider that. So that this is the solution. x1 is equal to 0, x2 is equal to 1, x3 is equal to 1, x4 is equal to 0. So the total cost is 65. That means the total profit is uh, 65. So the so that we can find out the solution by using this uh, branch and bound technique uh, that is the least cost branch and bound technique is used here and we find found the solution for the knapsack problem thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates